Hey guys, make sure to stay till the end. We want to share one advice with you because if you make that mistake, you may end up spending thousands of dollars on parts and diagnostics that you may actually not even need. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a dot charger that generation here from year 2014 to year 2024. If you need to find where the rear power windows fuses relays are located, if they don't work, always check these fuses and relays. In addition, if you need to buy parts, choose at a good price. That way, do not waste money and time. We'll share the information in the video for your convenience. So let's start on it now. So before we start guys, let us tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart, we show you how to do almost anything. How to fix engines, transmissions, electrical components, codes, fuses, relays, all that stuff. Why we guys do it? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we don't, uh, we can keep making these absolutely free videos for you. And if you want guys, please check out the, uh, our YouTube channels we have more than 15,000 free repair videos that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. So the rear, rear power windows guys which fuses relays we need to check we will demonstrate on this dot charger right here. Now guys you have two main fuse boxes the one that we need is in the trunk so we need to go ahead and open the trunk then you need to lift the carpet liner up underneath you have the spare tire that's a car battery next to it and behind is the main trunk fuse box check it out that's what it looks like that's a closer look squish the tabs together pull that cover out and you're going to see a fuse box with a layout like this one here before we continue let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and realize it is guys very important to test fuses and relays on those fuses you cannot clearly see if they're burnt or not especially you can see in the jk's fuses as well and if you guys assume okay you, let's say you remove a fuse you look at it and you assume guys that it's a, actually a, a good fuse but it's actually a bad fuse sometimes you cannot clearly see that what can easily happen guys at that point uh, you can uh, uh, put the bad fuse in and you start replacing parts and tools that you don't need to so you lose your time you lose your money to fix a problem that doesn't exist when all we had to do is test the fuse and replace it we'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses how to check relays very easily as well guys so uh, check it out it will be in the description of the video below so the rear power windows guys which fuses relays we need to check first we need to come in that row of fuses this is the one that faces the front of your dodge charger here that's fuse number two three four five six seven eight nine ten fuse number ten is the first fuse that you need to check that ternium fuse then you need to check fuse number 11 these two fuses are for power windows guys that you will need to check on your dot charger if they do not work so this guy's dot charger has all kinds of different fuses and relays, different sizes. And those guys, okay, could be really hard to find, especially if you're in the middle of nowhere. One time we needed a replacement, we couldn't get one. We were stuck because we had to wait a few days to get a shipment. So we recommend to buy some spare fuses, relays, put guys some spare ones in the glove box for a peace of mind we'll put a link in the description of the video below where you can get them at a good price quick shipping that way you do not waste money and time guys thank you for watching hopefully the video was helpful and see you guys next time